The sound is rolling? Okay. Okay, cool. Put me on switch. Uh-huh. I'm still wearing the same thing as last week. <laughs> I'm surprised you, you didn't introduce who the guests were, but because Alva was on last week, you see what the hands have to do to people. But yeah. anyway, yo, it is, it is, it's your boy DJ Switch, the mixtape king. If you don't know, now you know. We're coming to live from M Studios, and yes, that is uh, this is episode 38. Make sure you like, subscribe, and let us know what you think of the show. Also, let us know who you'd like to see on our show. Uh, it's got to be up and coming artists, they got to have some music videos, they got to have projects, you know what I mean? They should be able to freestyle whether you can sing, rap with you. you I don't know, you do quiet though, you do piano, whatever the case would be. Let us know. I know a lot of people are trying to open up this gap. They want to do this whole deal. And hey, man, I'm just saying, let's see. 23 is coming, you know what I mean? And I know this platform is taking off. A lot of people hearing about it. So thank you to everybody that's been supporting, that's been watching, and you know, supporting the up-and-coming artists. But yo, we're going to take it to Durban. Uh, we're going to go to a good friend of mine. He's worked on you know, one of my projects, a couple of my projects. And um, he goes by the name of Robin Third Floor. Hola, hola. <laughs> in That's actual good, fact, yeah. this is like what? The first time we're actually hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first time. This is crazy, right? We've been talking over the phone, on the internet, all this time. For how many years now, bro? Like during lockdown? Before like lockdown? Before lockdown, actually. Yeah. Because, yeah, because um, like you were the, one of the first people that, that saw the, I guess like, you know, those people who are, you know, established that sort uh, of I'm trying to music. figure out what he's trying to you say. Know, like, the music. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, wait, the music. Um, you saw my music video, Confessions, and right. you even gave me, like, like um, tips of, you know, I needed to get, like, a band and, yeah. you know, yeah. So right. it's, like, 2015, right? Bro, That's we've crazy. been talking online, and it just shows you, like, you know, you got to put out your shit. You got to mm. be consistent, put out the music, do whatever you need to do because you don't know who's watching. You don't know what's going on. We've literally meeting for the first time today on this podcast. Sure. I can't give you the date because, you know, we shoot in advance and, you know, and this is the first time. So shout out, bro. Welcome, oh, son. Oh, yeah, we're not going to speak about his nails and shit and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> that kind of show. But, you know, he's just being eccentric <laughs> with all, all the sure, stuff sure. he's been doing. Sure, bro, sure, sure. you've been doing a lot of crazy stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, sure. your progression as to what you've been doing from Durban and now you're staying in Jersey. Mm -hmm. I mean, yo, take us through the journey. You've got brands. You've got your own agency. Uh, you know, you, you're doing merch. You're doing a whole lot of stuff. And, mm -hmm. and it's not just the music because, you know, we've spoken a lot as to how you develop your brand and start building it. And you've been applying that to your brand. For sure, for sure, for sure. Um, <clears throat> so I think uh, I'd start by saying school is important. You know, um, <laughs> it's very, very important. Yeah, let's give you some claps to that. You know, school, stay in school, kids. There we go, stay school in school. School is, is important, you know. Um, I think I wouldn't have done most of the things that I've done if I was not a, a graduate, you know. Like right. I went to school. Right. Um, I'm a BCom economics and business Sheesh. management graduate. Hey. So these things that I'm doing within the music, mm. um, I'm able to maneuver is stuff that I learned in school. You know, right. like the proposals, all these things. Um, how to market yourself as, uh, you know, an artist is stuff that I, you know, um, learned in school. So yeah. I think, yeah, let me start there by saying yeah. school <laughs> is important yeah. um, for you to, you know, be able to navigate the space, um, especially if you're going to be indie. You know, I feel like it's such an important thing. A lot of people always say, ah, no, I want to be indie and whatever, and they don't understand. It doesn't um, mean Indian. You know, it means indie owned. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I know you're from Durban Chicken. and everything, but Chicken. it's not saying you must be Indian. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, bro, like, I mean, you've, you've done so well, bro. I mean, you also went, you also were going to, you made it actually out to South by Southwest. For sure, for sure. Yo, that's out in Texas, and that was the year you were actually hanging out to the Cuesta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Sure, 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 sure. Did you perform out there, bro? Come yeah, on, yeah, you gotta yeah. speak was, up, son. Was, you gotta I sell was, yourself right now. I Come was, on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I was, I was, I was, I was headlining. I think I did two shows. Yeah. Um, in South by Southwest. Yeah. Met Cuesta there. Wow. First time I also saw um, met U Unota there as well. Um, <laughs> Yo, shout out to Nota. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Before he went yeah. on his, uh, what would you call it? What would you call it? Uh, nothing, bro. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> you scared he's no going to come at you or something. Uh, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, no comment. Bro. He's no going to get you arrested, son. <laughs> hey, but yeah, man. Um, 2000, it was 2017. Um, 
South by Southwest. Shout out to Imexa. Imexa was um, the organization that helped, you know, yeah. um, navigate that, which is the, another thing that I feel like has been important in my uh, like hustle is that I'm aware, like I'm aware of what's happening. Yeah, you know, you're, study, always, you're studying the game a lot. Yeah, I'm always researching who can help me do what, right? Um, and like a lot of musicians don't know that there are organizations out there you know, who are for us. They yeah. might not be as loud, you know, about promoting that, that, that they are there for yeah. us, but they are, like, you know... You, Yo, let you, us you, know, bro. Put us on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Imexa, I-M-E-X-S-A, um, Imexa S-A, was mm -hmm. um, the organization that helped, you know, right. um, with the trip to South okay. by Southwest because I did get, like, a, a showcase um, slot. Right. An official showcase slot, by the way, like... I was there with like the Migos and you know the Rick Rosses on the schedule. You know, homie, dropping some names out here. You yeah, were yeah, out yeah. on that list. Your name was there, bro. For sure, for sure. But for that's sure. the same, like you know, uh, you know, Muzi as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muzi, oh, that's the brother, bro. Yeah, Muzi also representing the O three one. And uh, yo, can you guys see, bro? Like, let, yo, this is pause it really, real quick. Sure. There's a lot of brews out in caves and asking why we're not getting put on. You know, whether you're from Limpopo, whether you're from Rustenburg, whether you're from wherever. But you see, the thing is, brews are out in Jersey. They're trying to make things work. Sure, and sure. it's like, you know, we're going to get into your story as to why you're in Jersey now. And I mean, even mm -hmm. when you came to Jersey the first time, you were, you were out there. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. <laughs> you were in the wrong place <laughs> at the wrong time. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, you were at the wrong place at the right time. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's also like, you know, guys, if you really want your shit to blow up, save your money, jump on a bus, because now the flights are too damn expensive. Bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Take, 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 jump take. on a bus or jump on a train. Well, I don't know if the trains are back yet, but I mean, you know, get your ass to Joburg and start networking. You know mm. And I think that's what you've been doing. Yeah, you know, yeah, even sure. like, you know, Umuzi, he's now like, he's got international distribution. That's yeah, where the yeah. homie performs in, in the UK and the States. Yeah, yeah Like yeah, nobody yeah. else. You know what I mean? Mm. And he's like low-key, like a dope producer, number one. I met him through Sifo. He produced for Sifo. Mm. And uh, I met him as well. And that time, his rates already started to go up. Like, yo, can I get a bit? No, son. It's going to cost you a little bit. It's going to cost you a bit of an arm and a leg. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 but yeah. he knew his value then already because of the time he put in. Mm. And look where he is now. He's done. Yeah, he, yeah, just, yeah. he just performed now at uh, Rockin' the Daisies as well. For sure, for sure. Get for sure. me. And he announced yo, the, who's the, damn self? What is that? And he announced the, the, the show um, Soul, yeah. Soul um, Dubai. Oh yeah, he's yeah. also doing uh, Soul DBX. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. So he's doing that as well. That's now, that's now, now. Yeah, yeah sure. that's crazy. I know Young CPT is also headlining that show as well. Sure, uh, shout out. Shout you out. know, so that's pretty crazy. So you're saying that uh, Imexa is one of these organizations, just like a Sampra, yeah, just yes. like a Samro, right? Yeah. But you but gotta, like, you've gotta be registered with these guys, right? No, 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 no. So, um, well, I I haven't seen them much, like yeah. like as of late. But at the time, though, like they were really invested in actually picking out artists, right? Like they'd pick out artists yeah. um, from here and export them. Right. So they'd have like sort of like auditions in a way mm -hmm. um, that they'd have. I think it was Joburg Theater or something. Yeah. Yeah, the Lyric we'd, Theater. The Lyric Theater, sorry. Right. Yes, yes. And we'd, you'd go there, you'd perform. Mm -hmm. There would be like a, a panel of international festival um, promoters. Correct. So if they like you, then they would pitch you to those festivals. Wow, that's crazy. In actual fact, that's yeah. just a dope way of getting there as close to the festival as possible. For sure, for sure. So but instead now, of like, you know, sending like 10 of you over, they bring one person here and they're like, actually, we like these guys. Yeah. And they handpick the guys. I mean, Davis actually had the SM Music Week a couple of weeks back. Okay. And that was out at Soweto's Theater. And uh, I actually got to connect out there from Canada who does like a piano fest as well. Mm. So trust me, if you see your boy switch up in Canadian, you know, oh, out in the six, you know, for Drake, you know what I mean? Wait, you know what I'm good. saying? I might be out there, you know what I mean? I'm just yeah. saying. But all right, let's get to, uh, you know, I know, you know, we've got like mad, uh, I mean, your biography is absolutely amazing. It's, yeah, it's, and that's it, the old one also I think you have. I just updated it now, now. Now it's, now it's, it's stunning like on us, you know what I mean? Now it's stunning more us. more hectic now, bro. It's more hectic, right? Yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. and I mean, like, you know, a lot of people, and, and I mean, you even, uh, you know, you, you started this new level, if, it, if, if I might say, yeah. which is now, like, you know, when, when you started talking, it was like, yeah, that is the vibe, and it was the vibe then as well, mm. and that was um, obviously, you know, were you calling yourself? That was the the the, the project called Some Danger or Some Danga. 
it's some danger. So some it danger. was a single. I just have to see because you know these look cats. Hey, yo, they might come <laughs> in with the, the other things, man. There's a Devon, the Devon lingo, bro. It's like you exactly, know, yo. Nah, they hit you with nah. the other one. That's what I must ask nah, you. Nah. Some danger or some danger. Yeah, yeah, yeah nah. <laughs> Just like you get that jaga jaga, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Got the moves like you know jaga. I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Sure. Nah, bro. Um, so some danger was a single. I dropped mm. like. Um, to 2016. Yeah. Um, that was around the same time, like the South by South stuff, and yeah. you know, um, shout out to Tepang Ramoba, who um was my manager at the time, yeah. and um had the label Post Post, uh, myself, Moonchild Sanelli, um, and some other guys who were there as well, mm-hmm. and like for me, because I was already doing different stuff, right. Yeah. But like meeting Tepang, meeting Moonchild, they introduced me to like some other stuff. You know, right. just like yo, there's there's actually like you can even make it weirder. You know, yeah. <laughs> like, I think that's and I think the weird it is yeah. the more money you make these days. You know, and it's uh, like the more like you know, ex- I, I wouldn't say weird. I say let's say eclectic. eccentric. Yeah. Right, yeah, eclectic, yeah. eccentric. See now the English, yo, it's coming out. You know, right? Are the parents paid, man? You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel you. Sure, sure. And you sure. make more money that way. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and I've seen you do this through, you know, your branding. You know, you went to go make out some teas, and I don't know, it was that through uh, Bottella, right? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Everything's done um, via the the creative agency, right. Bottella Republic. Yeah. Right. So that's also your agency you got. Sure, sure, sure. And are you trying to sign artists or trying to um, sort of expand artist brands? Like amplify uh, it. Yeah, so I've been thinking about that like for for a minute now, because um, I know with Robin that there there's certain things that I want to do. He's speaking you know? like now from a third party kind yeah. of position. Like he's not Robin third floor right <laughs> <You> now, <know? laughs> but he's saying for Robin the artist yeah. who's himself too. Because I I also need to step into the CEO bag, you know. So <laughs> you know I have to switch it up. It'd be like yeah, CEO, I feel you. I artist, feel you. That's you know? the way we do it out here, man. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know I could be Morgan, but you know we're gonna speak about DJ Switch. You know what I mean? It's okay. You know what I mean Switch is doing some other crazy <laughs> shit right now. Sure, sure. He's trying sure. to get on that nine gag meme site. You know, get some hands out there. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch that Ava, uh, Ava like lava episode. You know what I mean? Away, away, away. away yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So, um, yeah, I've thought about it, but like, I think for me, what my my interests are is just like building with people on like like a one sawfish or a few projects type thing. You know, so yeah. I don't think I'd, I'd I'd want to necessarily sign people. Right. You know, because I also feel like the record um, deal, the traditional one, is kind of dead. Right. Um, now it's about certain types of deals. You yeah. know, maybe I could um, help someone with um, their brand, like brand endorsements, you know. Right, and right. It could right. be a thing of that. Like, we'll mm, help them. Mm, you know, mm, maybe mm, we mm. come up with like an idea of, let's say, for example, DJ Switch. Right. Right. Um, we feel like a certain brand, you and a certain brand could work. Sure. And you probably haven't even thought about it. And we think like, you know, because right. I work with the team as well. Like, I mean, so that's what agencies do. That's what yeah, the creative agency does. Yeah, so you're yeah, just yeah. trying to get into. So in in, in a holistic in an holistic kind of view, you know, you're sure. trying to, you know, you're just trying to make another bag than not just being an artist. So exactly, the agency yeah, just exactly. helps. You know, so you're just trying to get collabs because I mean, you worked with like mad brands out here. You know what I mean? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, so these brands are like super, super crazy. You also had TV placements. You had you had you had a song that went out. Yeah. Uh, uh for uh, you know, Zanzi Magic. Ozolo, Ozalo, sorry, Ozalo, Ozalo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mutual friends. It's complicated. Yeah. Season one and two, which is on Mzanzi Magics. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, let's give this homie some claps out here. Ah, Brand placements. Jaga Meister. Eh? <laughs> jaga on the Jaga ah, that's Jaga. A family. That's a family. When actual family. fact, that's what, yo, when you're going to, want you bring us some? Because you're out there. Hey, yo, bruh. And it's huh? so crazy because. Then you wait, hold on. Then you got HM, you got Red Bull, you got wait. Gola Classics, you got Afro Chicken Soup, wait. you got Studio 88 Teaser, you got Chooks. Uh, <laughs> COVID was not lit for, actually, wait. it was lit for the brew. Wait, huh? I need to go back to the Jaeger part, bro. Um, uh, what do you and, mean? And, like, there's and, and no shout. alcohol here, so how listen, can you... Listen, listen. No, you I can't be to. giving them shout-outs if there's no alcohol here. I give us to, some. Jaga, jaga. Give yeah. us some jaga, jaga, and then we're good. We can talk about it. We're not talking too much <laughs> about it. Shout-out to them. That's your brand association. You know, they got to give us <laughs> up. Then, of course, yeah, yeah. your initiatives right now. We're going to speak about... Yeah, right. we got Botella Republic, yeah, yeah. right? Then we've got also a mental health platform. Showcase, showcase. Right, let's talk about that. That's uh, Zin... Zinayel. 
Zina kele, zina ke kele. Yeah. There we go. Zina ke kele. You see, right. got this. It means right? take care of yourself. In the, it's this Um mm. And basically, it was a platform that I started after, like, um, I released as a tand, which was a project that I released in 2019. There was a song there called um, Self Care. Right. Um, and the chorus went, Uzi tande, uzi And it really gravitated to, like, people, you know, who listened to that project. And I felt like I could take it, like, a step further, you know, um, in creating a platform because... The whole series in itself, um, the series of Zitande, Zazi, um, Zitembe, was inspired by, you know, mental wellness. Right. Um, and that's a big thing right now since we come out of COVID. For sure, for sure, for sure. And, 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 you know, for me, it's something that I'm really passionate about from a personal point of view, but also seeing how it has affected um, a lot of people in my community as well, you know, um, and people don't even know what's eating them up. Yeah. You know, it's just like... Um, that thing that nobody really talks about, but is eating up like a lot of people. So, um, yeah, that was why I started this in Ayagel. I have really big plans for it um, in expanding it and just educating people about um, mental health issues, but also just mental wellness, because yeah. I feel like the focus is always on mental health issues, shout which is out, the man. problem. Shout yeah. out, shout out, shout out. That's you a know. big, yeah, that's, yeah, that takes a lot of big balls to, you know, divert. I mean, that's what music is for, but, you know, when you start speaking about, like, you know, serious things, sure, you know, sure, sure. Um, it takes a little, it, it, you know, you got to be a little bit gutsy about it. You, sure, you got you sure, gotta sure. be because it's not just about the music all the time. We get that part, but it's also about like, yo, what are you? What kind of message you're sending out to the peoples out there? Yeah, and what you stand for? Yeah, one hundred percent, man. And then yeah. of course you've got you know um, you've got the Zom, uh, some danger clothing brand. Sure, sure. sure and sure. we don't got any out here, but I mean, uh, I've been gonna, waiting, get, waiting for get. the you know waiting for the sliders. You know, come on, bro. Sure, sure, sure. Ah, you gonna you know, get, homie got his own sliders out there too. Fits, fits, fits. I know. Um, I yeah, like so this humble th- this humble pie shit you playing on me. <laughs> <laughs> Homie been calling me for days out here, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Nah, bro, nah, 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 it's chill, you know. It's a, it's a chill day, you know. I don't want to be too... I'm here, bro. I'm here. We, we <laughs> uh, yo, here. but that's not the kind of uh, interview that's going to be. Also, uh, you know, um, you've moved to Joburg, right? Sure, uh, sure. Uh, on what basis? Because, I mean, when people move out of this city, yeah. uh, it's normally like, hey, man, everything where, where I've been yeah. is done. Sure, 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 sure. And it's sure. like you've done everything, and it's yeah. like I'm also like in Joe, and I'm thinking like, man, we haven't done enough out here. Mm, 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 you know what I mean? Sure. But you know, people are moving from Cape Town to Jersey, from Durban to Jersey. They everyone's coming out here for not, you know, I mean, that's what they call it, the city of gold. But I mean, yeah. right now, not everybody's getting that gold. That rush is done. You um, know, right now, still know, people are trying man. to get the bag. I mean, I don't know. what is it for you? Yeah, I, I feel like um, Jersey has like a lot of you know, um, possibilities. And for me, that has always been just like the thing, you know, um, of wanting to move to Joburg, but also wanting to move to Joburg as someone, not just coming through as like a person who doesn't know the switches of the world. And, you know, um, so for me, that was really, really important to make a noise where I'm at, you know, build that, like that network with people. And then when I moved to Joburg, it makes sense. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Now you're here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do this A, B, C, and whatever. Sure. And also, I'm also coming through with stuff. Yeah. I'm coming through with the agency. I'm coming through with this. I'm coming through with that. And it's like, I have value to add now, not just mm. a verse anymore. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, now I have value to add. I have stuff that I can, you know, sure. put on the Implement table. Implement and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and put on the table. And this, I, like the kids also don't understand that, like, right now, as much as you can be dope, but, like, dope is the entry level, you know? Like, it's okay. like an entry level thing now. It's, you're dope. Okay, cool. And then? And then what? Yeah, tell us what's, you know the, what next, what's yeah, the next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know? Um, and dope you to legendary, to, what it means, basically. Is that what you're saying? Pardon, bro? Are you saying, like, dope to legendary? Is that what you mean? Because, like, when you enter, you're dope. When you've been around, you become legendary. No, no, no. I'm saying, like... So what's the middle part? I'm, I'm saying, like, when you dope, right? Like... You, that's you your make, entry, Moss. You make it a statement. Entry. Yeah, right. sure. But then I feel like for you to maintain or to become bigger, you need to yeah. be bigger than just dope. Like What is that level? I want to get these 16s, words, you know what I mean? 16s are cool. 
like yeah you can do you can you can rap and whatever it's right, fine right, but like right. how can you maneuver like are you seeing the business in this because this we is go. like we go. the music business yeah i we see go. it as a music business i'm not in the music industry yeah. like i'm not trying to you know um, pull stunts and whatever yeah you know um <laughs> that's not me <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, like shots like, fired right I'm there man i'm not trying to pull stunts you know and i get where homies come from with the stunts but for me like it's about the business you know yeah, it has to make yeah. business sense so sure um yeah so that's the entry like to be dope is entry you know but then after you have to have something but especially you know, in this in in this era right like things have changed now yeah you, it's not you just can't be your artist alone you got to be more than an artist but exactly. business is not for everybody like not oh, everybody sure. understands business so yeah, the and, best I'm, thing and, and I'm not speaking for everybody. No, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not for everybody. And not everybody can... I mean, yeah, we all... When we say we're creatives, it's like you go out there to create, like you create a song. Mm. So you should be able to create more than just a song is what for you're sure. implying right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And not a lot of people see it that way because the, the only thing they see is to be in front of this, the, well, the camera for sure, for or sure. on stage and people chanting their name. Well, yeah, but I, I, as I said, like, it's a different time now. Yeah, you know, for like, sure. I'm always on YouTube learning about stuff. Yeah, you YouTube know. University. That's right. Make sure yeah. you like and subscribe out here. You know what I mean? You know? Like, I'm always on YouTube searching about stuff. You mm. know, you'll find a lot of topics of, like, what's the difference between this and this? Because I want to know. Yeah. Like, it's not enough for me to just be recording. Like, I, I haven't recorded a, a song in, like, two weeks or three weeks, and I've just been on YouTube checking right. out stuff. Well, shit, you, you know. gotta be paying rent somehow. So I don't. How you also make your money, son? No, I'm just saying, like you know, you also have to. <laughs> That's the jugger jugger money, man. You see, <laughs> they giving a <laughs> bag to survive, you know, Jen Josie. You, know. you know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Like so, you have to to inform yourself. Like you have to be following the right pages, man. Like yeah. the model is sharp. You can follow the models as well. And, but who, like, and who are you following, the, really? Because I think you've got to yeah. have uh, uh, some sort of online mentor that you follow. Um, you know, to make sure that you're maintaining this kind of level of Mindset. success. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. As I was saying, like the models, you can follow the influencers and whatever, but ah, bro, follow the, the other pages as well. Like they're, yeah. they're telling you about the royalties and all these other things, you know, mm. because there are people who are out there who are dedicated to teaching music, like right. musicians how to do business, you know. So I feel like that is very important um, for people to, for musicians especially. Right now, yeah. I feel like, Yo, uh, like right now, there's so much information that's out there. Sure. Um, I recently got like, I remember there's this video that I saw. It was talking about something about brands, right? And how to like approach brands. And it was a concept that I had never like learned about. And right. I used that concept. And we already working on a partnership right now with another brand. Right now. He doesn't want to give us the keys out here. You know what I mean? No, no. He's no, giving no. us like. I don't know, bro. He's just giving us, he's giving us the luck, right? No, no, no. Give, he's giving us the keyhole. Nah, nah, right? nah. You need to ask the right questions also, <laughs> you know, like. Because What's the video, bro? Uh, Let us put us on the video because how everybody's, because I mean, not everybody's going to do what you tell them to do or sure, do sure. what you say they should do, mm. right? Because we're ignorant like that. They'll just say like, I just done a rapper, but I ain't doing shit. We don't mm. know him, but it's like, yeah, but he's collecting bags. And that's sure. the one thing people don't, that people misconstrue is that, you know, when you see somebody successful, they're collecting bags and they're surviving. Mm. And it's not just on, like, I mean, look at, uh, let's speak about how um, Vaughn, the guy, Vaughn and, uh, man, what's this guy's name? It, oh, damn, I forgot his name. Yeah. Vaughn and the other homie, Kayembe brother, what's his name? Fred. Man, Fred. Fred, yeah. You see how they were, those brews are operating. Mm. If you go check out how Fred and Jay are uh, operating, y'all gonna learn something. Yeah. You get me? Yeah, they're moving right. Eh? Like you like get I'm, me. Like I, it's one of the homies that are in my radar. You know. You get me. So check out Vaughn and check out Fred, and see how they're operating and see how they're maneuvering because they're still collecting the bag. They're not in the forefront. You don't see them, but you know they're there, or they sure. show up, or they pitch up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's what you need. That's like where you're on right now. But mm -hmm. yo. We did a song called Nangu Shoes. Sure, 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 sure. That was on the E that was on the EP that I did just after COVID. And it was uh it was part of Reset. We actually done that song in 2019. Before COVID hit, we dropped it as a single and it was Nangu Shoes. It's just a vibe. We're gonna play in the background. And uh, there was just a vibe, like yo, 
You know what I mean? Nangu shoes. You know what I mean? That was kind of dope, and I like the energy, I like the vibe. That was because we've been speaking for so long, and I said, "Yo, man, send me some shit." And I think you also just you dropped uh, Gibela that time as well. Yeah, yeah around the same time. Around yeah. the same time, the energy was right. Everything was just dope around that. Sure. You know, and then we st- and then now you just dropped the brand. You busy with a a new EP right now? Or was um, it dropped already? It's dropped. It's so dropped, it, yeah? It dropped on, mm. on, on the 30th of September. Yeah. Um, that has been getting, like, really dope um, amounts of love. Um, right. We debuted on number one. Number, yes, I'm manifesting the number one. But we debuted, <laughs> we debuted on number Straight three. Straight up manifestation out here, baby. Yeah. We yeah. Debuted, we debuted on number three um, globally on Audio Mac. Yo, um, shout release. out, man. Um, number Yo. one was... Who was number one? <sighs> but I can't remember. It, it's, it's like... Uh, uh, the guy who did that song with Questa from the US the, that came here. Uh, Wale? No, 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 not Wale. <laughs> uh, not Wale, not Rick Ross, the other guy. Damn. Rich Homie Kwan. He oh, was number one. Yeah, he that's why. It's because it's like. And I hey. was number three. Oh shit! That. No way! Yeah, 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 that's crazy, yo! Shout out to you, bro. We already gave some claps out there, sure, sure, sure. and I mean, I think it's dope that you know you're still pushing this quite a vibe, right? Mm-hmm. New, it, it, it is like a kind of eccentric kind of quieto, you know, because it's a mixture of such. Uh, it's got calm in it. Yeah, it's, you know, it's such electronic. A, music, yeah, yeah, it's electronic calm in that music and that sound. It's so like wow, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Sure, and sure. I think uh, Gibela, Gibela mm. sort of like really sort of ex- like it explains your sound. Yeah, yeah, for you sure. You know what I mean? Like, it's also a wild video. It's like all UV and shit. Check that out on YouTube. Um, <laughs> okay, you know, it's it's, it's just the, and that vibe. And I also think like, you know, is like like the, the vibe, like also the way you rap. Is it like a Durban thing? You know, because obviously it's you, Malumku, Cat. You've sure, got sure. this like quite a rap kind of thing going down. You know, we're going to check yeah. out one of your music videos called uh, Izinja, which is the last music video you shot, yeah. right? It's all about the homies going to work and shit on the grind. Correct, hundred yes, percent. Yes, 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 I remember yes, yes. that one, and I mean, it's like, like, is that the Durban kind of vibe? Is that the sounds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Durban is a dance city, bro. Like, yo, you know, South we, Africa, bro. Uh, it's the uh, damn you know, country. You know, you know, you know. So, what I mean? like, um, the inspiration comes from like your big nazes out yeah, there. You know, the elbow yeah, was the professors. Yeah, yeah. So that's our thing, you know. Right. And Malum Cool Cats is also just like a big inspiration because he he took it to the hip hop level, you right. know. And um, yeah, there's a lot of us who come from that school, from him, you know, right. from that school of Malum Cool Cat. Yeah, sure. Yeah, man. I mean, that's like the vibes, man, and and, it, and it's dope because we gotta have we've got so many flavors, got so many eccentric sounds, mm. and it's like it's always a thing. It's like you know which one you're gonna jump onto, but you know we've got these sounds that can kill it in the states. Yeah, you know what I mean. They, they can kill it in the bro. states, can kill it in the east. You know what I mean? It's bro. always the vibes that we got. Bro, listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Showcase, <laughs> showcase. So when I was um, at South by Southwest, right? Yeah. Um, and um, we were backstage. Uh-huh. So we're chilling. And some guys um, from the US who are going to be performing as well. So they're like, ah, oh, bro, like we checked out your stuff before like we came here, right? Um, your stuff, Quista stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, and they were asking us, like, because Quista also has the quiet door. Element, right, yeah. right. This was before the Cart 2 came out, right? No, no, it was like around Gutu. Oh, yeah, was right. Around so this was around prime time. Yeah, it was right. just around Gutu. Right. So they were asking, like, so. That, was, cool. that was Dakar, though. Yeah, I think so. That was. Yeah, I right. think so. Um, so they were asking, like, so all the other rappers sound like you guys, where you from? And we were like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> not necessarily, you know. Yeah, and because like, <laughs> what do you mean that necessarily? I'm like, eh. yeah. And at the time, also, like, I was huge in the South African music needs to sound right, like this, right? You know. Right, so right. if it doesn't sound like this, it's you know. Mm. I was a big advocate, like advocate for that. And right. I remember I was saying, Nah, they sound like you. And he's like, <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> I'm like, Ah, they sound like you, bro. They're using the terms trap house and in the bendo and like. Oh, you serious? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> bruh. And it's so confusing to me, you know? Um, but yeah, that era of me is like gone now, bruh. Like, I'm embracing everything now. Okay, so now you're true. just embracing yes, yeah. the way, way. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I mean, feel we, you, we're, not, we're not coming from like the same school. I, I had to like actually like process that. Like, mm. I grew up on um, Abu Shonji. I don't know if you know Shonji, Abdul's. Yeah, um, no, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the yeah. type of music that I grew up to, and like the kids aren't growing up to that. Like I was listening to H two O, bro. Well, when you know, I was a- you know, I had, a, I had a conversation before we started this interview, like the night before, with somebody yeah. else, and it's like, you know, it's cool to have the old school, mm. and it's also cool to have the new school. 
Like, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, we just dropped, I mean, right now, just in the past few weeks, Nas and 21 Savage dropped a joint. Sure, sure. You know sure. what I mean? And it's like, think about that. That's like old, old school, like, you know, the beginning there where the mm. shit is really like Ill-matic. raw. Ill-matic, yeah. Bro. And then we've got somebody who's here in the trap, wilding out, crazy, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, face tattoos, face jams. I don't know what else, what else, yeah, what yeah. else, what else. You know what I mean? And I think it's that, you know, the times are different. Like we've been saying throughout this interview that the times are changing. Everything is changing. And mm. it's like we got to get into that space of like we got to accept with what's happening now. For sure, because for sure, for sure. it's like saying, no, I'm not going to watch DSC because I only know <laughs> SABC. <laughs> you like, get nah, me? Or nah, nah. oh, I'm not going to watch Netflix because I only know SABC. I'm uh. not going to watch YouTube because I only know SABC. Mm-hmm. You get me? Mm-hmm. And it's like when even just like satellite radio, make sure, oh, by the way, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you sure. stream us on Podbean as well because, you know, we, we, that's how we're rolling now. You know, uh, we, we're not doing level. that. You get me? I'm a level. You know, if, sure. you, if, if you, if you want to be on, a, if you want to be on TV sure, sure, and you sure. can't get on TV, start a podcast. Mm. You get me? That's and the you, level. Now. That's the level right yeah, now. Yeah. The new TV is YouTube. Mm, mm, you get mm. me? So, yo, man, I mean, you know, we could talk for hours because we've always had like mad conversations. Yeah. We've always gone into the levels of like where where are we at right now? And those are the kind of conversations we should have. You know, you got to have with the mentor. Shout out for you, bro. Ah, bro. You've sort of taken me on like your mentor yeah. and stuff like that. Not yeah. that I'm trying to boast my own shit, but yeah, get a clap for my motherfucking ass. <laughs> you know, we, we sure, 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 and sure, it's sure. just cool that we meet now finally after so many years. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And homie's done so much and, and done exceptionally well. And you know, you gotta check him out. It's Robin. So it's Robin. Um, right. Third I, it, floor. Always, it always gets me confused. He's Robin, Robin Third, third floor, floor. But the Instagram handle is at Robin Rap Squid. You get me. Um, so <laughs> it's Robin Third Floor on, on Facebook. Yeah. I recently deleted Twitter, so I don't have that anymore. But like um, Instagram <laughs> at Robin Rap Squid. Um, there's a new project out. It's called Izigaba Zotando. It features um, Zenle, uh, Lungelo Manzi, Nipo Herd. It's produced by my boy Slim. Um, all the way from Durban, he produced the whole thing. Shout out, amazing dude. producer who's coming up. He's also a rapper as well. You guys need to check out for him. O three one, O three one, baby, O three one in the building. You know. um, and yeah, man, just check out the stuff. Like, there's a lot of plans for 2023. I think now, yes, sir. Um, that's what we're doing. Like, we're planning, you know, for for 2023. I'm releasing my debut album. I know, um, I know, he's gonna show that the Jaga Jaga. So while you're yeah. listening, while you're watching, <laughs> no, 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 send no, no. us the damn bottles. <laughs> And you know this hey. should be lit, so you might as well give us your money, sure, right? Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> well, we're gonna get into so we're speaking about O three one and Durban. We're gonna yeah. jump into, um, yo, we can check out his music videos, but yo, you can check it out for yourself. It's Robin Third yeah. Floor on, on YouTube. Sure. Uh, cause some of his shit is outdated, but um, yeah. yo, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna uh, drop the us. New, the new thing is coming, bro. Yeah, it's coming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yo, we don't leave the show without a freestyle, son. Yeah. You know, you got to rap. You said you haven't been doing anything for the last three weeks. Yo. That's not yeah, my eh? problem. That's not my <laughs> fault. But, yo, we got we got none other than te- it's TaylorMade Beats, man. The guy's okay. been running the last few weeks like crazy. He's also from the 031. Sure, sure, sure. No, I've heard the name. Heard yeah, TaylorMade Beats. Uh, it's yeah, a crazy white boy, son. A crazy white boy. He's got beats for days. Check out his website. It's TaylorMade Beats. You can yeah. go lease some of his beats. Very cheap. That's the way to go, guys. Uh, sure, and sure, make sure. sure you support that local homie. All right, we're gonna get into it. Let's see which one first. Uh, I had some beats actually. I, I selected according to me. to people. Yeah, you know. But right. I just don't know. You just don't. Oh yeah, this could have been the one. But um, yeah, let's go. Let's go with this one. Yeah. All right, your boy DJ Switch, the mixed up king. We got Robin third floor, aka Robin raps good, and uh, we got it's tailor made right at right. M Studios. Let's get it, son. Okay. 031 represent. Okay. That's your boy. Let's go. Make sure you <laughs> like and subscribe. Get us to the comments. Hey. Yes, sir. Let's go. Boom. In a mix like Fistas, name for a feature. So, I'm a clipper. 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 I'm a All about the money. All about the divas. Bangena am a clipper. I'm 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 Hey. I ilobola, pay the damages. Hey. He said Josie and I miss my mama's sandwiches. <laughs> Back to the real shit, I'm old three ones finest. Okay. My rapper go silent, my rapper. I should hey. be making a noise, cause we are the best. The girls are young fool now, they know I'm a catch. Hey. I'm breaking the rules, you she say roof. Hey. I'm dropping the jewels when I'm in the booth. Hey. Then bag I'm a cake when you in the booth. The land of us now, but this is a good. Yeah. No six pack la, put the corner, we'll cash. 
Shaiye kaskun ngata iko i dash. Come on. Mindset on the big goals. I've been on my big Ibo. Eo gizunga. Okay. All about chips like fritos. All about chips like tito. Video. Ish. Exactly. Dallas Paiz. Bandis Lizela Pezulu. I'm a kai. Boga. It's the switch up. Yes, sir. Hey. Okay. Come on! Yeah, <laughs> yeah you want to do it now? I haven't, I haven't been in the stew, bro. I haven't. All right, all right, stew, all right. Well, it's not yeah, over yet. It's not over. So you want to do another one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't been in the stew. You got some written stuff, though, I'm sure. Mm, I, I, I see it. I see it. Leave it. Leave it. Uh, leave this guy's scared, scared now. Why are they scared? Leave it. But leave then they call you, yo, switch. Come on, man. Put me on. But it's like, come on, bro. We got beats here. Listen to this one out here, too. You know, I got. This, yo, this, you got 031's finest right here, and that's hey. it's Taylor Mate, son. Ah, yeah, 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 I see. You scared see, now, see, what? You scared? You see these so, homies out here? So, in this Zulu, there's a saying, Etsy, yeah, got some nandi, which means leave it while it's still the nice. hot, right? <laughs> Do not ruin it. Do not ruin it. <laughs> yeah. And that was off the dome, huh? Very true. So your style is quite, it's quite like a cheesy kind of comic kind of vibes, yeah? Sure, sure, like conversational, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, inspired by like, think about chants, you know, like that's mm. the school I come from, like about chants. Um, from the Tyler, Eminem's, yeah, Tyler's. Eminem, you know, yeah. like that vibe of just like, you know, talking and, and using different tones. Like, I enjoyed rap like that, like, that yeah. has like characters and all these things. So, yeah, man, I feel you, bro. Let's yeah. shout out to Robin Third Floor in the building right Shukis, now. Shukis, shout out for bro. coming through finally. Wait, it's got wait, you. It's, I appreciate 2023 you. 2023 is gonna be lit, man. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And, 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 and shout out for this platform, bro. Like, yo, man, I know, I, I know about this platform before, like, you, you yeah, actually did it, yeah. and to see you grow it like this, bro, it's really dope. Uh, the brands need to come through and do Yo, the, the things. Yo, the jugger, give us some of that money, son. That <laughs> shit, y'all got to enough of through. that. I drink enough of that too, you know what I mean? You know, the brands need to come through and do the right thing. Because, yes, sir. Um, I think what we need in South Africa is brands to, to endorse things at an early stage. Not coming through when it's like, When the ah, hype is there like, now. Ah, yeah, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Grow with the thing, you know, grow with that thing. Because that also means that you have like loyal people. Yeah to you because it's like oh you saw that before everybody did mm, you know what i'm saying mm, um mm, mm. and not you weren't just chasing numbers yeah you, you, like, you, you got the smoke before the fire exactly you know that's I mean? where a lot of brands get it wrong bro so hey if they listening out there come through early baba early switch is going yeah. switch can talk to you right now he <laughs> can organize up. a meeting and he can you know hey man um, listen this is the when, homie right now you see the ceo of botella it's very very going down right now because there's a time that's gonna come <laughs> where you can't speak to him you're gonna speak to someone if you that's want to right. speak about put, put me on, on might have to speak to see her you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so right now, come through when you can still speak to him, you straight know? Straight up, man, straight yeah, up. Sure. Shout out to Robert Third Floor, your boy DJ Switch, the Mixtape King. We're coming to you live Wait. from M Studios right here in Newton Junction. Make sure you also stream us on Podbean. That's at podbean.com. Make sure you check for the podcast. You can also actually get Mac G. You can get sure. Gigi LeMayne out there. You can get, uh, I think v- I think Vus is up in there as well. Vus, what is, yeah, the cinema is too long, you see? Sure, sure. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, Tim right. McGuire, there sure, we go. Sure, 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 sure. And um, yeah, man. And of course, you get me out there. So yeah, you can go to put me on switch dot And of course, we're also on Spotify. Yeah. And that's how we do this thing every Wednesday. And you know what? We out. Showcase. Is that a cut? That's a cut. Yes, sir. Sound off. <laughs>